more uh, information about what the NPCs are doing and why. Yeah, jackpot. Freedom. <laughs> Look at all that freedom. Ah, oh, Michael. Now, I don't know why, but Michael's playing without silos. So he's, he's going uh, ninja mode. No, I'm just trying to get my economy going a bit. Make I him do moles. Yeah, do moles. I've just done moles, yeah. Oh, here they go. That's um, mole patrol. Mole army for you. They're out for the gas. We need to find a nice pocket of gas so that I can yeah. start expanding it now and make big money. And there's two down here, yeah. which so is that looks really good. good. So what they do is they go to the spot where you tell them to go. They uncover that triangle and then search in a kind of a random uh Rate, uh, what do you call it? A random range around that first point, uh, and if there's a gas pocket there, they will also uncover that. Right. My only critique about the area they found right now is that um, We're they're slightly close nervous. together, yeah. and when they're close together, that means they can't expand Ooh, too much yeah. towards each other. So that's slightly that's unfortunate. Also, actually, I in area three, you would be happy with two gas pockets close together because you would be it would not cost a lot to hook the gas up yeah in area four you're not happy with that because you want to expand them both and if they're really close together you're gonna have some issues you can't you can't expand two at the same time they each have to have their own little pockets uh, so yeah they have to be in you their have to own split them up like that circle thing yeah so what I've done now, I've created a circle around them and these little nodes are all able to be open and closed. Yep. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close them for 150 each. You can see it turns red indicating it's closed. Two and it turns orange indicating that it's ready. And then once I've closed an entire circle like so, you can see the thermal upgrade activates and the gas starts expanding. Yep. So shorts, uh, thanks thanks for playing the game and glad you liked it. Um, the AI does a rather bad job on, on oil pour tiles. Uh, it seems they spend too much money. Yeah, uh, it's one of also one of the things we're working on at the moment. We're quite busy. Uh, we're going to improve the AI on. They the, cheat. Uh, they cheat. <laughs> uh, th th we're going to improve the AI on several fronts. So one is that. Uh, the th your three opponents are going to have proper upgrade strategies so they won't just buy something they'll actually have different kind of inclinations all of them which is really cool um, they will stop bidding like crazy on that one piece of land that kind of looks like a good piece um, and will also definitely work on kind of like the amount uh, that they get out of a plot um, there is kind of this randomized calculation which depends on okay how much which upgrades do they have and how much oil is in the ground but it's not always the same uh, like it's random but uh, yeah it that still needs work it's going to be better i promise so as i mentioned earlier this expansion process takes time you have to remember that i have both thermal upgrades for thirty thousand dollars and the thermal upgrade itself so i have 120,000 invested in these upgrades uh, now they grow at 156 percent with the second upgrade it's 120 and without of course it's 100 so that gives you an idea um, if i didn't have the third upgrade they would be growing even slower so you need a few months for them to grow and expand and if they weren't so close to each other so i had to have the pipe in the middle but could had a, a bigger circle around them of pipes then they could have grown even larger so now what they do as soon as they come into contact with one of these pipes like this one here I believe is done and maybe this one as well they'll uh, cease to grow so it's kind of a trade-off between having uh, more space for them to grow into but also accounting for if you have enough time for them to actually grow to that size and then again usually maybe November in area 3 you start pumping out gas if you actually get these gas pockets to a large size then it can take more than a month to pump all the gas out to boost the price so you also need to account for that extra time so that's why it's more important than ever in area 4 to get your economy going as soon as you can and to try and find the gas pockets as soon as you can um, area 4 also has 
fewer gas pockets on than area three. I think uh, our range is two to four and occasionally five and very occasionally only one gas pocket. So that makes the challenge of finding uh, the gas even harder initially in the fourth area. But if you find it early and you grow up for a long time, it pays off. So it's all uh, a risk reward consideration you need to make. So what I've done here is you can see I have two super silos and two small silos. If I place my <coughs> rigs optimally, I could have even got three super silos. And that's the optimal way to um, get maximum oil. Um, I just see Hutka telling me to stop selling on the right, yeah. Uh, or occasionally looking at the Twitter feed and I'm so busy talking I miss things and yeah, I, I end up selling for the wrong price. Sorry so about that. There's a, well, Michael's using a technique, I would say, uh, I would call it, but uh, the wagons are also used as storage at the moment, just waiting for the right time to actually sell. If you stock up on oil, will prices go up supply? Uh, no, there's no real supply and demand. No, it's just a uh, fluctuation. Uh, yeah, fluctuation, a wave. So, um, which is random. Which is random. Yeah. And yeah. it increases in speed as it rises, and then slows down as it peaks, and then reverses. And yeah, it can drop and stop at any price it just yep. fluctuates constantly yeah it is completely random in that sense so you there will be levels that you just don't get above 110 and there will be levels that it goes up to 140 or 150 suddenly and uh, there's there's no way of telling you so uh, stock stocking up or kind of saving all the, all the oil in silos doesn't automatically uh, up the prices that's a separate system it's not supply and demand in so the sense hooked up right think now the price is rising which is perfect closed off this rig Hatka wants a scan on the far left side I'm gonna open up these two gas pockets and we'll do that in a second pumping oil out and now I'll do a little scan once I have the money yeah Trump it is very much worth it to stock up on oil a lot we of go, we go, players we go. especially in the beginning won't use silos because they just sell at whatever <laughs> what <laughs> thanks Hatka uh, whatever factory is highest uh, which is a viable strategy, but if you want to like really maximize your profit, so you're going to need silos. So here we go, the Manus begins, price is above $2, we boosted all that gas out, it's still flowing before it starts dropping again, I'm going to start selling with all 40 wagons here. So some people say like, oh 40 wagons, that's a lot of wagons, why will I ever need that many? Well, when you get to the fourth area and you need to pump oil out, this is Especially why you now them. because the price is already dropping. Yeah, so gas ran out, price is already dropping, so... You're still selling at a reasonable rate. Uh, those rev, will each AI have specific upgrade paths? Well, um, that's kind of what we're building now. Yeah. Um, right now we've identified three upgrade paths. So if you start a new game, the three NPCs will have uh, one of those three upgrade paths. But we're also working on new characters. Uh, f f uh, to introduce uh, when you play expert mode and it would be great to have each character with a specific uh, upgrade path but that's kind of step two we're going to do this first upgrade paths that differ and that are actually real and valuable instead of them just spending it on anything um, so that first and then maybe we can bring like one on one together and make sure that upgrade path a works with Ricardo and upgrade path B works with Blanche but uh, that's a little bit further away not sure if we can do that 